Brothers and sisters, Brother John, Watchman for that great day. Um, I have some news. Uh, it's interesting because yesterday on the live stream that I did uh, with Brother Aaron and uh, Brother Brian and uh, Brother Bob Barber, Sister Gigi, uh, Brother Aaron was saying something about at a certain point, and I can't remember where it was, but it was in that live stream, where uh, we might be looking back at this day, and it was the 6th of June, and what I just received from another brother, Brother Ronnie, thank you, Brother Ronnie, um, breaking, Knesset votes to divide Israel. This was Monday, June the 6th, 2022. It's amazing because um, this is important. So let me read it a little bit. In a shocking and largely unexpected turn of events, you could say, oh yeah, wow, the Israeli Knesset has voted down a key bill that would have renewed, let me make it a little larger for myself, uh, renewed Israel's sovereignty over Judea and Samaria. In effect, if a subsequent emergency session is not called and three readings of the bill not passed before the end of June. The end of June could be the 25th, could be after. We're looking at this window of time. I don't know, brothers and sisters, 15th. <laughs> We're close, all right? Let's keep looking up. But if it's not passed before the end of June, in light of today's vote, Israel will have effectively divided itself, uh, removing its own legal recognition of Israelis living in what the world calls the West Bank. This is Judea and Samaria. This is all part of the Abraham Accords. It's all working together hand in hand and it is moving along. It's the uh, peace to prosperity uh, plan that was set forth that is from seven, uh, that is for a 10 year period. Uh, that the Jared Kushner and uh, uh, Trump administration set forth where it would be a divided Jerusalem. Well, this is giving, taking away, if it's not, if it's not passed, then it takes away recognition of their sovereignty over that area, basically dividing uh, the land. So it's just very interesting. Ever since Israel's victory in the Six-Day War. Notice yesterday was the second day of the Six-Day War, 55 years All right, from that second day when they voted. Today is the day that they came in and took over Jeru East Jerusalem. They claimed it for victory. So it's 55 years. Interesting. Ever since Israel's victory in Six-Day War uh, and its de facto conquest of Jerusalem, Judah, uh, Judea and Samaria, a bill reviewing the law has been passed every five years without fail. Today was the 11th vote to renew the law in those 55 years, but, but how did this happen? As it turns out, MKs who would, have, who, who would have otherwise supported the bill voted against it to destabilize Naftali Bennett's fragile coalition. Now, this is interesting because it's a political move, right? Others abstained or failed to show up for the vote. Sounds a lot like our Congress when they pass things through and during the Christmas holiday or something like that. But it's all working hand in hand to bring about this, this plan, all right? Their vision, the Daniel 9:27 uh, agreement. Okay, which is working through these things that we call the Abraham Accords, the Peace to Prosperity, uh, you know, these different coalitions. So perhaps the third gate, interesting, uh, noted here in the unsealed publication, perhaps the third gate is indeed about to fall, and as that domino falls, we're also witnessing the, the uh, dominoes of Ukraine, Taiwan, and soon Iran, all while uh, Evergrande has finally defaulted on some 300 billion in debt. 
inflation and food shortages are increasing and the world's governments are losing control. It's God's restraining force alone, think of this, that is keeping this ship from immediately sinking. But time is almost up, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this. This is amazing, and I just want to blow the shofar and hope to hear this very soon. It could be any moment now. He's coming for us soon. Keep your eyes to the skies. Trust that the Lord knows where you're at today because he knows where I'm at today. He knows everything that we've done. He's recorded it all. But guess what? Because of the love of God that can never be separated, that we can never be separated from his love. He's got us in the palms of his hand. He's taking us home soon. Keep looking up and trusting God. Today is the day of salvation. So if you hear that small voice today in your heart, look up and say, Lord, you know, you know that, you know who I am and what I am, and I'm trusting in you. And I'm giving this life that I have, whatever it is in this life that I have, I'm giving it over to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Brother John, watchman for that great day. Out.